G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a good little trigonometry trick and it's used to memorise the sine and cosine of your basic angles. These angles are 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. And these are the fairly common angles. To do this we're going to be using a, a pretty common instrument that you carry around with yourself. You're going to be using your hand, okay? So I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so first off I'll draw a picture of a hand here, okay, hopefully I can do a nice picture of a hand, um, I must say I'm not the greatest artist ever, okay, there you go, there's my picture of a hand, hey, it's not too bad, right, and going left from right here, okay, I'm going to label those angles I was talking about, that 0 degrees, okay, we had 30 degrees, uh, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, and then 90 degrees. Okay, and I'm also going to label the fingers here. Okay, going outwards, I've got one, two, three, four, five. So the first finger there, I've got drawn down as my thumb type thing, and it's zero degrees. Okay, so again, going in ascending order from the uh, right to the left there. So this is the way we can work out the sine and cosine of these particular these particular angles, okay, fairly easy. And it's as follows, so say we want to know the sine of say 60 degrees. Actually I'm going to work out both the sine and the cosine, okay, so I'll put down the sine and the cosine of 60 degrees because let's face it, these are fairly easy to work out. Now 60 degrees here, you're going to see that we have that's occurring just here. So pretty much the sine values are the ones which are going to be occurring on the right here and the cosine values are the ones that are going to be occurring on the left here and we're just going to do a couple of things with them which is as follows we're going to get the value we see and we're going to square root it and put it over 2 so I'll show you what I mean to so say cosine of 60 that, sorry the sine of 60 it's this 1, 2, 3 fingers here okay yeah. on that side there's 3 fingers so I get 3 fingers I'm going to square root them and I put them over 2 and that's our answer. Okay, the cosine, that's on the left hand side here, there's one finger there. Okay, I'm going to square root it, so the square root of one is one, and I'll put it over two. And that's all there is to it, right? Okay, not bad, right? <laughs> that's a fairly simple trick. What about we go through another one of these? So, what about we do, uh, I want to know what the sine and cosine of say, whew, let's do zero degrees. Okay, so you're going to see here that we have, um, okay, I'll put my zero degrees in here, okay, and all the ones on this side are going to be a cosine and the ones on this side are going to be a sine, so pretty easy, right? So sine first, you're going to see here that there's no fingers, okay, so nothing, alright, that's over 2, square root of nothing, mm, mm, mm. so it's, uh, we've got, we got a nothing answer there. What we have here is we have 4 fingers for our cosine, the square root of those which is equal to 2, and we're putting that over 2, so it's equal to 1. Okay, told you this was going to be a nice simple trick, and it is a fairly simple trick, yeah? Carry this calculator around with you all the time. Okay, what about 1? last one of these, say we want to work out uh, the sine and cos of the sine and cosine of 45 degrees okay we're on the old middle digit there okay so what we have is as follows the sine we've got two fingers here okay one two square root of two over two the cosine is a square root of two over two pretty cool right so that's how you do these um, it's fairly simple oh just one thing I haven't really mentioned by the way but just say you ha you decide at the same time you're going to work at the tan the tangent well that's fairly simple too because all you really need to do is you need to just remember that the tan is equal to sine over cos so as long as you know your sine and you know your cos you can put one over the other you've got the tan as well pretty cool right so that's a great little way of doing this it's fairly simple um, anyway Hopefully you find this a handy little trick. Okay, see you next time. Bye. 